and welcome to Cooking and Baking on Adelante with Arlene. Today's meal is going to be a tasty one and easy to prepare. It will be a couscous and a sea bass. Your cook for today will be Michael C. Turok. Hope you enjoy this video. At the end of this video or anytime during, please subscribe and please give us a thumbs up. Here goes. Welcome back. Today we're gonna do some uh, pearl couscous, Israeli pearl couscous. And of course we're gonna add some lemon, lemon zest, some cucumbers, some tomatoes. We're also gonna do a pan seared sea bass. And for that we're gonna do a lemon garlic butter sauce with some shallots. I got chopped parsley here, chopped garlic, chopped shallots, and some salt. Also have some white wine, some olive oil, and some uh, sea salt here. So I want to stop and show you real quick how to cut up the cucumber and the tomato for the couscous. Alright, so a lot of times I do like to cut the seeds out. So I will cut the seeds out from here. Get as much as I can out. With the seeds, uh, what happens with the seeds when the cucumber sits overnight in a salad or anything that pertains with the cucumber, um, it makes it more watery. So, cut here. And then we'll just uh, do some rough chops here. All right guys, so look. I had a little mishap earlier while cutting the cucumbers. I did cut the tip of my thumb. So I had to clean the, uh, the board and just do everything all over again. But this is how you want to get the, uh, the uh, tomato and cucumber for the, uh, the mix that we're going to do with the uh, couscous. So in the meantime, we're going to drop a little oil in the pan for the couscous. And we're going to toast it, give it a, a light toast. Now we have a, a cup, one cup of pearl couscous here. I have some hot water put on the side and I'm going to add a cup and a half just want to give it a light toast here and give it some color Bring it down to a simmer and we'll cook it for about eight to ten minutes. We'll add a little sea salt to it. Alright guys, so now that's that's done, we're gonna add the cucumbers. Chop the tomatoes, cute tomatoes, and give it a nice little mix there. Some chopped parsley. And do some lemon zest. Give it a fragrance. And a little bit of the juice. Some lemon juice here. Okay. A little olive oil. We'll get it, give it a simple stir. 
This will go great with chicken, fish, salmon, sea bass. Some lamb chops. You can eat it cold, you can eat it warm. You can also make it with roasted uh, peppers and, and uh, eggplant. Add a little more parsley in there, give it more color. Guys, here we go. Splash of olive oil. Some chopped garlic. Some white wine. And a nice, about a tablespoon of butter. This is going to be your garlic shallot butter sauce for the CSC bass. And then once this is done, we'll put it to the side and then we'll do the uh, sea bass real quick. We'll show you the end presentation of it. Um, next time we're going to do a uh, how to do uh, our butter mix with the shallots and garlic. And take all the impurities out and clarify the butter for you. That's the butter that, that would really go well when doing this butter sauce. All right, so that's done. And we'll okay. All right, we have the, the pan now heated at a medium high heat and we'll cook the sea bass about two minutes on each side. Fire fry butter here, the season, the garlic, salad, the parsley. We'll put a little dollop of that in there. We'll turn the temperature down to medium. We'll add some parsley, some uh, black pepper, and some salt to the fish. I'm not going to parsley, but I am going to add parsley to it. Remember, when it comes to seasoning, you put you season to the taste, to your taste. All right, now we're gonna turn this over. One nice little brown color to it. If you have any fresh herbs, rosemary, uh, some sage, or thyme, feel free to put it in there. We have it at a medium. We're cooking at a medium setting right now. And for about two more minutes, and, and uh, it should be done. All right, we serve the portion Couscous. And now we're taking out the pan seared sea bass. And we're going to drizzle it with a little bit of that garlic butter sauce that we made earlier.
here on Adelante with Arlene. And stay tuned, we'll be doing some up, other upcoming dishes. We'll try to keep it simple and easy for everyone to uh, understand and, and uh, be able to uh, do these dishes. And we do hope that you enjoy it, that you try it, that you give us comments, and that you subscribe to Adelante with Arlene.